funeral outfit. <laughs> right. Well, the aortic valve is one of the four valves of the heart, and over time, that valve can weaken, and it may need to be replaced. That's right. So what are your options? Well, Mary Nichols has more on our Check Your Health report. Valve is a moving part, and you know, after um, millions of heartbeats, year after year, things wear out. Our hearts are a lot like a car. Over time, parts of the car, like tires and brake pads, wear out and need to be replaced. The aortic valve is no different. In the past, doctors would have to do surgery to replace the aortic valve with an artificial one. This is a less invasive way of replacing the aortic valve without open heart surgery, where we have a a valve that is mounted on a balloon and we balloon it into place. Dr. Brian Wisnant is a cardiologist at the Intermountain Medical Center Heart Institute. For patients who may not be candidates for surgery, he performs what's called transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Usually we go up through the artery in the leg. Um, if the arteries are not large enough, sometimes we go between the ribs. I couldn't breathe. I had a hard time breathing. I'd get tired and couldn't do anything. In 2009, Rose Felice was the first patient to get this procedure at Intermountain Medical Center. And I, the condition I was in, I thought, well, if I don't, I'm going to die anyway, so I'll go ahead and try it. No pain. After the operation, I was kind of disappointed because I didn't think they had operated. 77-year-old Jay Daly had the procedure earlier this summer. Both are patients of Dr. Wisnant, and both say the surgery made a big difference in their quality of life. I, I feel very good. I, I don't feel 21, but I'm not 21. When we first started, we were limiting this to patients who were not good candidates for open heart surgery. Uh, the results have been so successful that we're now, now studying this in patients who are good candidates for surgery. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. Those folks look like they're doing pretty good. Yeah. All right, so 